right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. And today we will be taking a look at what I think is one of the most unique aircraft in World War II. That's the Lockheed P-38 Lightning. Now it was an American World War II fighter aircraft that was built by Lockheed. And I believe now uh, they're still around but referred to as Lockheed Martin if they haven't gone out of business but um, they may still be in business. Now, the P-38 had a distinctive twin boom single nacelle design. Each boom contained a turbocharged Allison V-12 piston engine that generated 1600 horsepower at 3000 RPMs. The central nacelle contained the cockpit and the armament consisting of one 20 millimeter cannon with 150 rounds and four 12.7 millimeter M2 Browning machine guns with 200 rounds. The P-38 was nicknamed the Fork-Tailed Devil by the Luftwaffe and two planes one pilot by the Japanese. The P-38 was used in a number of roles including dive bombing, level bombing, ground attack, night fighting, reconnaissance missions, and used extensively as long-range escort fighter when equipped with drop tanks under the wings. The P-38 did have some issues. During high-speed dives, the aircraft's tail would become unresponsive due to buffeting and compressibility issues. The control services would begin to shake violently and the fighter could enter a high-speed compressibility stall causing the nose of the aircraft to tuck under, steepening the dive. Once caught in this dive, the controls would lock up, leaving the pilot no option but to bail out if possible or remain with the aircraft until he got down to denser air where he might have a chance to pull out. Dive flaps and fillet kits were installed on some later models to try to rectify this issue. In the European theater, P-38s were easily avoided by German fighters because of the lack of dive flaps to counter compressibility in dives. German pilots not wishing to fight would perform the first half of a split S and continue into, ste into steep dives because they knew the lightnings would be reluctant to follow. The P-38 was used most extensively and successively, successfully in the Pacific Theater where it proved how dearly suited combining excellent performance with very long range and had the added reliability of two engines for long missions over water. The P-38 was used in a variety of roles especially escorting bombers at altitudes between 18 and 25,000 feet. The P-38 was credited with destroying more Japanese aircraft than any other United States Army Air Force fighter. Now that's not including Navy and Marine fighters. It's just United States Army Air Force fighters. While the P-38 could not outturn the A-6 M-0 or most other Japanese fighters when flying below 200 miles per hour, its su superior speed coupled with a good rate of climb meant that it could u utilize energy tactics, making multiple high-speed passes at its targets. Also, its focused firepower was even more deadly to lightly armored Japanese warplanes than to the Germans. The concentrated parallel stream of bullets allowed aerial victory 
at much longer distances than fighters carrying wing guns. So I find that the P3, now this is just my own opinion, that I have more success flying the P-38 like a heavy fighter. Um, like something like the bow fighter or the BF-110 or the DO-217. Um, if I get in and mix it up too much in this plane, the lack of maneuverability um, usually uh, contributes to my downfall um, pretty quickly. But if I stay at altitude, use energy tactics, even in arcade, um, I do seem to do a little bit better. Now there are two P-38s in game. One you can reach without a premium account. It's in the far left column. The fifth plane down is the P-38G. And the other one is a premium aircraft that you get by buying or purchasing a package. And that is the XP-38G. And they are both basically the same exact thing um, except the XP-38 gives you 70% plus 70% reward and 160 percent research bonus. So the P-38G Lightning is a rank 2 fighter with a battle rating of 3.3. It has a max speed of 432 miles per hour with a 20.2 second turn time. It comes equipped with four 12.7 millimeter M2 Browning machine guns and one 20 millimeter cannon. The aircraft does not carry any secondary um, loads although in World War II the aircraft um, was able to carry um, bombs and unguided rockets. Um, they, those were sometimes fitted uh, in the field. So um, it did um, carry secondary ordnance, but secondary ordnance is not offered for the aircraft in War Thunder. Um, and neither the XP-38 nor the P-38G offer any additional camouflage patterns at this time. So let's jump into a battle and see what we can do with the P-38s. All right, let's see what we can do with the fork-tailed devil. Oh, we got top of the world. see. And we'll start in with the standard P-38G. Oh, it's all rainy. Let's see if I can get some altitude and get out of this rain. But look at the graphics on this game. It's incredible. Mirror. 
Okay, let's see what we got. There's a Typhoon. A P40. Okay, we got a kill assist on the Typhoon. Okay, there's an LA-5 over here. Okay, so we knocked off a couple of enemy players there. You need to be careful of this BTD. It's got a couple of 20 millimeters on it. I remember correctly. Can do some damage. Where did that thing go to? There it is. And it's too far. I don't feel like chasing it all the way over there. So we're going to come back over this way and see what we can find. We got a typhoon climbing up. B25, but he's got a couple of people on him already. Dr. Death has gone down. Let's see if I can get a firing angle on the 185.
blew a piece of his wing off. I thought it was going to go down. But evidently I was wrong. So he is still hanging in there. Guess I'm going to have to come finish him off. Three or four other people on him for a while. I had to come back and finish him off. That's ridiculous. B25 over here. What do we got? Three kills. close to their base. And they got a lot of people over there. Or actually, right over the top of my base. I don't know what I was thinking about. I missed my initial pass, so I kept going because I knew I'd given up my advantage. There we go. What the hell? I hit his carcass or something. Whatever it was. Screwed my plane up. Not flying as good as I was. Okay, reload again. So BTD is coming in. Got an enemy 
get kill assist on the BTD. The plane is still damaged. BF-110 coming in down low. And he's out. Okay, let's see what we were able to do. Ah, we picked up new machine guns. Okay. And we'll research some new cannons. Okay. We picked up the Survivor Award, we didn't lose any aircraft, and the Fighter Award. We finished top of the team, but I did lose, or we did lose. Let's see, all together they killed three. Looks like 15 aircraft. And we killed. Twenty-nine aircraft. So, hmm. Not so good. We came out with 23,214 lions, a modification research of 1,812, and a vehicle research of 543. Let me save this right quick. I hope you enjoyed um, this look at the P-38 Lightning and we, even though we didn't get to see the XP-38 it's basically the same thing it's performance standards its performance standards are not that much different slightly better um, However, I did have this P-38 on a crew that is uh, better with reload, um, or better all around. So, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, don't. Uh, please subscribe and share the videos. Help me build my channel. Um, if there's any particular aircraft you would like me to take a look at, if I have them unlocked already, I will see about doing that. Um, but as always, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Nerd out.